Welcome back to this Guild Wars Let's Play. You're with Sambo, Seraphis heals a lot, and joining us as always is the beautiful Regina Lacerda. How are you this evening, Reggie? I'm good. How are you, Sambo? I'm okay. I see we're surrounded by dancing blue people. What on earth is going on in the background here? We've got some some kind of dancing troupe. Oh, and they've got cool little pets as well. Hang on, die cheerleader. Oh, now that's interesting. Maybe you can help me here. How come I can see on the bottom of their um, little, when I hover over them, their tooltip, that they've got titles. How did they get titles in pre-searing? Do you have any idea? Your guess is as good as mine on that, Sambo. I thought, title, well, there are some titles that can be earned pre-searing, but they're, um, they're a lot easier to get post. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because, I mean, I'm looking at my titles here, and, I mean, we've got a well, wisdom title. This is uh, identifying 100 rare items, which I guess you could do if you stayed in pre-searing for long enough. Um, reach 140,000 XP points without dying, etc., etc., etc. But this woman behind us here, Princess Sephiroth, has Defender of the Luxons. And, of course, um, Luxons versus Kurzik is in the Factions campaign, so... I'm, yeah, okay, we're stumped on that. Maybe any of you guys listening at home, if you can tell us how on earth somebody could get a title like Defender of the Luxons or Golden or Warden of the Luxons, uh, we'd be very keen to know. Anyway, that was a slight diversion. Sorry Absolutely. about that. How has your week been, Reggie? It's been a whole week since I've seen you. You get uh, Reggie withdrawal symptoms, I think. Because you know why? Nobody else gives <laughs> me as much as much shtick as you do, and I um, I miss it. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm good for something there, Sambo. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, um, what have you been up to in Guild Wars this week? Well, I have um, been actually having a bit of a play with one of my level 20 characters Ooh. and thought I'd go for a wander down in the snow. Um, yeah. Let's just say I had Guild Wars open for over 24 hours <gasps> and... Um, what? To, you know... <laughs> Well, I had there was other things I had to do like you know sleep and eat and you know oh yeah all those and, minor and, and, tasks a, a, attend to my daily chores yep yeah. <laughs> um, but so you know I'd come back and play for about you know fifteen twenty minutes when I could over that twenty four hour period to try and get down to I knew there was an outpost and it only took me a day to get there and <gasps> a day um, no really well because I kept on getting killed majorly by by mobs and oh. would then it would be a five and a half minute walk in real time five and a half minute walk to get back down to the point where i get killed again oh oh reggie i know that <laughs> feeling and look for those of you listening at home um it may not sound like much a five minute walk but believe me when you're in an mmo a five minute walk seems like an eternity doesn't it and so hang on so you were having to basically walk five minutes and then you'd get killed by whatever mobs were out there and then have to repeat the process over and over is that what you're saying Pretty much, yep, exactly. Oh. But I did make it. I made it to that outpost. Oh, God. And, you I'm just know, when say, I got did... there, yeah, oh. there, there were only two other people, real people there. Is that right? <laughs> Compared to, of yes. course, looking around here, you can see there's hundreds, by the way, for those of you uh, who keep yeah. asking us, does anyone still play Guild Wars? We'll have a look right there. You can see about 100 people in pre-searing alone in one district. And if we drop down the district menu, we've got five full districts. So there's the answer to that question. But so on the end of your big, long journey and quest, you got there and there are only two people. Is it really far out? Where are we going? Um, it was in the, um, well, it was in the, the, the post-event stage. Right. Um, okay. Yeah, and it, it, the outpost was not quest-based, so I wasn't actually having to go there for any reason other than then other than, other than and Reggie gotten, wanted to go there, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd actually gotten a lot further in the game from that point, but... I, I figured out that there was an outpost there that I'd never actually gotten to, so I thought, I'm just going to go. Well, you know what? That is exactly what Guild Wars is all about, isn't it? You don't have to uh, just go somewhere because there's a quest there. You may just want to go exploring, and Reggie is a prime example of that. So how's that for tenacity? I'm I'm super proud of you. Well done. That's awesome. I think, you know, the last time I did that, I actually gave up. It was making a, a run north of Ascalon City, and that was about four years ago, and I've, I've only just recently finished it, as you know, because um, you guys helped yes. me out. So thank you for that. So, yeah. Well, well done oh, to you. Oh, you're welcome. 
Now, um, what's this other rumor that I hear before we head off into the great blue yonder? Um, something about you and more irises? Have you been yeah, collecting? Yeah, uh, I did go. Yeah, of course. I just, you know, thought I'd get some more iris flowers while I was, you know, out and about. And um, yeah, wait, wait a I minute. Wait a minute. This is managed to collect. This is after, in our last episode, you already collected 50, right? So you're talking about more on top of that 50. Yeah, just about another 100 more. Uh, whoa, 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 excuse me. About another what? More? Well, okay. See, I um, <laughs> I thought I, I should, you know, <laughs> if, if I could get a, a belt pack for myself, I might as well get one for a friend. Now, you're not the first friend on my list to get one for, but I thought, oh, of course. you know, while I was at it, I would get one for you as well. So, so if you want a belt pack... <laughs> what? So, hang on. So, you can, you've, uh... <laughs> you've gone out and collected a hundred more red iris flowers to get two more belt packs. Is that right? Yeah. You, you're, you know what you are. <laughs> you're plain, starking, raving mad. You're bonkers. That's, I've never heard anybody... What's your point? That, uh, <laughs> what? There you go, folks. I just... <laughs> I, oh, well, you know what, Reggie? I take my hat off to you. Oh, completely. That is unbelievable. So, did you? Are you saying that? Hang on. Does that mean I've got a belt pack? Is that what we're saying, or are you just taunting me? Well, you know, come over here. All right, hang and on. I'll give you one. You are kidding me. Are you, are you you serious? I am initiating she, a trade as we speak. Look at that. She wants to trade to us. One item has been. Oh, <gasps> Oh my god! It's a small equipment pack. I can't believe you've done this. I would never, ever have the patience to do this. This will be, of all my 10 characters on my Guild Wars account over six years, this will be the very <laughs> first one that has ever got a small equipment pack. I, I, I've got nothing to give you in return. I feel terrible. I, I, um... Other than your gratitude? No. Oh, God. No. You know what, folks? I'm now starting to wonder, is this a worthwhile trade? Do I have to be nice to Reggie for the rest of the Let's Play series? Oh, God. You know what? I really want a belt pack, so Just stuff take it. it. Yes, I'm going to take it. <laughs> Damn, Nation. Now, not only do I owe her a car or three, now I owe her my undying gratitude. Reggie, that is outstanding. I can't thank you enough. I'm going to equip that right away. Pop it up there. And look at that, folks. We now have a small equipment pack. We've got five extra slots on a slot that never, ever gets filled, especially on my characters. All thanks to you. And you're saying you also got this for another one of your friends as well. So that's three small equipment packs that you've actually got prior to the searing. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty damn insane. You, okay, that deserves... Hang on. We need to bow... In your general direction, and we should probably also do this. There we go. You, <laughs> you have our, un at my feet. our undying gratitude in front of all of our hundreds and hundreds of viewers. There you go. I say to you, Reggie, thank you so very much. That really does mean a lot to me, and that's a super effort. Well done. That's unbelievable. Well, on that chipper, cheery note, although I think I've just bought myself a world of pain, but anyway, we have something very interesting to do now, because this is a very special episode for us, and I have a quest in my log here. Now, Reggie, you don't have this quest, do you? Not yet, Not but yet. I will get it soon. Yep, and you know what, just to prove that Reggie knows what she's doing, uh, why don't you take us to the quest giver that both you and I know we need to go to, even though you don't have the quest, I bet you you know where it is. We'll follow her, the folks. Bikini. Oh, actually, sorry, can you add me to a party if that's okay? Because um, I couldn't follow you because you're not on my list. There we go, accept. And off we go. Click on her name, pressing the space bar, of course, to auto-follow her. Now, I've been thinking long and hard about this, and you know what? I think for all of the viewers 
um, who have been through this particular thing that's about to happen, you all know what's going to happen. So there's no point in me explaining it. But if you watching right now are a new Guild Wars player and you've never seen any of this content before and you know where we are, I'm going to bring up the map one more time. Uh, because you might want to make sure that you're familiar with all of this. Here we are in Ascalon City, which is of course the major city. We've got the Lakeside County. We've got good old Ashford Abbey down there with its catacombs. We've got Foibles Fair, Wizard's Folly with the snow. And over to the um, east, of course, we've got Fort Rannock through the Regent Valley. We've been all around these places. We went up to the Northlands in the last episode and of course the Baradin Estate. So a nice big zone here. And it's Pike and Square up in the Northlands as well. Oh, Pike and Square. That's right there it is you can see it there it's not marked mm. on the map and that's uh yes we'll keep that to ourselves but anyway it is up there so um <laughs> i'm thinking reggie that for all of our viewers who are following along for the very first time um i th and, and of course who um can't play the game for whatever reason or, or another i don't think we need to explain anything i'd just say i think uh that they just need to sit back and watch what's about to happen what do you say I think that is a, a, a definitely a good way to go. All right. So we're going to basically shut up, I think, is what we're saying. Let's see. We click on Sir Titus here. Have you heard? We're almost ready to set out. Before you join us, keep in mind that you'll have to say goodbye to all of the comforts of Ascalon City. All right now, that's an important thing, folks. Out there beyond the wall, our lives will be in constant danger. And we'll have only our comrades to rely on. But... Balthazar willing, we'll drive these char from our kingdom once and for all. So let's accept that quest. And you can see here, we get another quest, and there's Reggie accepting hers. Now you'll notice, folks, if you are playing this um, yourself, there's a lot of red text in here, and it's very important that we get this right. So we are mustering our forces now. The attack against the char will begin tonight. So let me know when you're ready to go, but be sure that all of your affairs are in order before you do. And here's the important bit. Once we leave, there will be no turning back. You may not see friends or family for quite a while. If you have unfinished business, attend to it before we go. Now, I don't know about you, Reggie, but the very first time I played Guild Wars, I went, yeah, blah, 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 whatever, whatever, go. And of course, I hadn't finished off all my affairs here, and I was royally, well, screwed, for want of a better word. So, um, have you ever done that? Have you ever come through to this point and not been finished, or are you a person that actually does read what you're supposed to read? Oh, no, absolutely. I've, I've gone, oh, yeah, there's some text here. I'll just click on it and see what happens, and then went, uh oh <laughs> that's about what you say isn't it so once again folks warning you if you're playing along with us for the first time uh, make sure you take pause here if you ever see bright red text in the quest log there um read it for good goodness sake and for very good reason so at this point i think reggie it's pretty much us um making sure that everyone's comfortable um, if you're at home watching, it's time for you to sit back and relax and watch what unfolds before your eyes. So, Reggie, are you ready to go through the gates, basically? I am ready. This is a big moment, isn't it? This is what, what episode are we up to now? You know what? I don't even know. Um, it's probably around about 15, 16, 17. We film these way in advance, folks, so kind of lose count. Uh, but it's taken us so long to get here, so much effort. Uh, Reggie has collected over 150 red irises. God knows how many she's actually collected. She's probably <laughs> keeping some from us. <laughs> I'd imagine. Of course. Of course. Um, so a lot of effort has gone into uh, playing the game up until this point um, all I can say as a hint is make sure you take stock of what's around have a good look around oh 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 my god as I'm saying that I'm noticing over here there's a costume maker and a festival hat vendor now only because I haven't been there yet I'm gonna wander over and have a look because uh, I don't know what they have and who knows they may not be where we're going what's this I have fabulous new costumes for sale are you interested in picking one up according to my records you haven't uh, purchased any costumes yet you'll need to see my broker in the guild wars in-game store oh i see okay so this is obviously the vendor if you buy some costumes out of the guild wars store i'd imagine yeah i think um i'd say so yeah i've never seen them either yeah um there's festival hats here i think oh look at that make me a demon mask 
Oh, okay, I know what this is. This is because on my other characters, I've participated in the festivals. Now, I'm not sure if you have read you or not, but if you click, please make me a new hat, on my one, it says, make me a demon mask. And that's because I've got a demon mask on other characters and it would cost me 10 gold. Do you have that option? Have you done that before? I haven't. It just said, let's talk about something else. Oh, okay. All right. Well, um, he doesn't I, want to know about me. He doesn't, does he? Now, I can buy these where we're going, um, but would you like me to buy one and put one on just for the heck of it? What do you think? Oh, why not? While we're here. While we're here. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Make me a demon mask. Here you go. A genuine demon mask made just for you. A fine piece of work, if I do say so myself. Now, fortunately, because um, Reggie gave me the small equipment pack, I had room to be able to actually keep that. Let's... Um, put this on whoops there we go and there it is so I'll zoom right in close and hang on, I'll turn myself around yeah there we go so that there is the demon mask that's oh she's she won't behave for me come on there you go that is the demon mask and I got that from uh, participating in I think one of the festivals or I think it was the Chinese New Year festival I'm not quite sure so something a little bit special there and where does that appear okay that appears on the costume headpiece slot um, down the bottom left hand there where you can also put a costume body slot you know what actually it looks a bit silly to me I thought it was the um, demon mask there's another one that has like a Chinese face sort of thing I like that one. I don't like this one. I'm actually going to switch this to Always Hide because I prefer my hair. But anyway, there you go. You got to see it. All right, Reggie, sorry about that distraction. Are we ready? That's all right. It happens. It... <laughs> Thanks for that. We will be guided by you now because I'm sure, I think, when you click on Sir Titus now, we've got I'm ready to start without my party or my party is ready to leave behind. We'll let Reggie do the driving from this point on, but again, all I can say is take a good look around because we may not see this again. All right, we're at the um, behest of your will, Reggie. Up to you. Yep. Bye-bye, pretty land. Bye-bye. Oh, nothing's happening. Well, I've got, I've clicked on, I'm ready to go with my party. It says before, you will need to tell me you want to leave now then just about you. So, it now it's saying I'm ready to leave without my party. Really? Okay, maybe had you, I'll... Had you clicked on him? No, okay, my party is ready Let's to leave. Let's try that again. Here we go. I am ready to, okay, wait here, I'll be back. I'm joining, okay. So, we both have to do it, do we? <clears throat> It looks like it. All right. Mine's just got the two options now. I'm ready to start without my party or wait here. I'll be back later because I clicked the party one. Have you clicked yours? I have. Maybe we just need to go our separate ways for now and I might see you again in the future. I guess we do. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? Oh, well, good luck to you and we'll see you on the other side. You will be allowed into the city. See you on the other side, sir. There we go, mine's counting down until time until mission start. So I guess maybe we're going to be on our own now. You're right. Damn. I wonder why the party option's there then, if we can't do it as a party. That's interesting. Anyway, here we go. We'll see you on the other side indeed. You're here. Hello. We are. We, we are still in a party. Well, that's okay. All right. Welcome to the Citadel, he says. Uh, if you're going to fight under my command, I want to see how you perform in a real combat situation first. So you can see now there's four of us in the party. There's Reggie, myself, and we've got Stefan, a fighter henchman, and we've got Orion, a mage henchman as well. So this is pretty cool. So you can see and our now, capes are red instead of being white. Yes, they are. Look at that. We do have a different color cape, and that's because we're probably on the red team. You can see where we are. We're at a spot that we can't normally get to. That is Ascalon City over the water's edge there. And if we look on the map, you can see we've crossed over to the citadel on the other side. We went through the bridge, basically. So we've got 17 seconds left, and we've got help now. So there's now four of us. And it looks like we're going to have to fight somebody on the other side of this door. So I hope you're ready. Never. Never, she says. Armor plus five. I'm just making sure I've got the right gear on. Have I got the right clothes on? Got to look pretty. 
All right, here we go. So it's red versus blue. You can see there we're now actually literally in a red versus blue game, basically. All right, I'm going to try and concentrate on heals. So here we go. Reggie is taking a pounding there straight away because she's, of course, basically acting like a tank there. We have to make sure. Well, oh, I'm and taking I out couldn't. the Mesma because oh. Yeah, I couldn't even keep up with I'll the heals. I thought I'd take out the Mesma because they're really good with the enchantments, and I don't want to have a Mesma enchantment on me. No, that's a, that was a really good idea, but gosh, they're tough, aren't they? Well, and I'm getting absolutely. They are as well. indeed. And I'm so sorry I couldn't keep up with the heals there. Dear oh dear. Oh, and our fighter is getting an absolute whipping as well. I think I'm going to have to yeah, conserve... Well, I might go on this fighter because he's, he's pounding on me. Yep, and now he's coming over to me as well. Now, I'm actually going to just concentrate on healing, so I'm not going to waste any of my energy uh, trying to fight because I just need to keep you guys up. And, of course, Reggie's more than capable of putting up a good fight, as you can see, although I'm trying to heal her. Oh, and she's gone and again. I'm gone again. Oh, dear, oh, dear. It's so hard. Um, as you can see what happens, folks, we've got a score there, two versus one. Basically, every time you die, the other team uh, gets a point. So we've got to win this particular uh, match. It's, there's no quest summary, but obviously we've got to come out. We're two versus two now. So we're going to try and keep Reggie alive. get one more. Yep. 22 seconds remaining. And, of course, pretty much the only reason that Reggie was dying is because my heals weren't good enough. It's absolutely nothing to do, do with her skills. No, no, it's all you. Yep, all me. And I've got not enough energy. Try and keep our mage up, who's getting a pounding. Sudden death, the first team with a kill wins. Oh, and we were defeated. Oh dear, that oh was rough. No. Boy, they're a tough that team, was. aren't they? Good lord. All right, looks like hopefully we'll get another chance to do it again, I hope. Let's see what happens. Listen to the briefing oh. given by Sir Titus and Prince Rurik. Oh, so we didn't. Hang on. So we don't get to do that mission again. No, you fail, you fail. That's very interesting. I wonder what that means. That is. Um, like, what happens if we'd won? Or maybe we weren't meant to win. I don't know. That's bizarre. Hope we haven't ruined our game for losing. Well, see what they say. Yeah, here we go. Sorry I could not join you before the skirmish. I was delayed by official business. This is Prince Rurik and Sir Titus. And Rurik is saying that he was delayed by him. I wanted to watch the battle together. Sir Titus did not exaggerate when he spoke of you. You've shown great promise today. No, we haven't. We lost. Well, Reggie showed great promise. I showed nothing but <laughs> fail. Anyway, I've been keeping the prince informed of your deeds. After seeing your courage for himself, I believe he is convinced. Yeah. Anyway, I am. I have come to induct you into Ascalon's vanguard. We are the elite protectors who guard our nation when threatened from within or without. And as part of the vanguard, we are needed for a critical mission before we can begin our offensive against the Char. And he's saying that uh, the sentry spotted Vatalor Doomtooth and his warband in the old bunker out behind the citadel. And he must have found a passage that led here from the catacombs. Whatever his purpose, it can be no good. As soon as you're ready, the prince himself will accompany us to cast this char fiend out of our land. And it looks like we've got ourselves a quest now. Journey to the old bunker with Prince Rurik and defeat Vatalor Doomtooth and his minions. Gosh, as if that battle wasn't hard enough, Reggie, now we've got to fight some actual real ones. Oh boy, what do we have to do? Mm, Let's have a look. Doomtooth, he does sound a little bit tough, doesn't he? He does. Right, what does it say we have to do? Journey to the old bunker. So maybe, do we just talk to Prince Rurik, perhaps? Here we go, have a chat to you. Have a chat to you as well. Maybe they'll follow us if we if we run on ahead. Let's see what happens. Is he coming? Yes, he is. All right, lead the way, oh great ranger, because I'll just die. <laughs> Basically speaking. Oh, now, by the way, if you have a look at your map, this is the area that we were talking about in one of the previous episodes that we were wondering if would ever get uncovered. And you can see now we're actually running right into the middle of it. So it looks like it will get uncovered. I'd completely forgotten that all of this was here, by the way. 
I've forgotten about yeah, all these missions. I know. It's sort of like I remember. I remember sort of you know clicking on yes, I'm ready to go, and next thing I know, there's like some cutscene. Yeah, that's what I thought too. So I've got about all this bit. Yeah, mm. it's good. We sort of put on trial basically. Now look at that. That's a fireball there, or rather a uh, meteor storm that is being cast by the mage that's in our. Uh, party the mage NPC because of course you guys won't have seen any uh, mage spells before because of course Reg is a uh, warrior necromancer and I am a uh, ranger I mean a ritualist and a monk or rather a mesmer and a monk so of course you won't have seen any of the spell effects from any other caster so it's interesting to see them of course to try and fend off these grawls Oh, you know what? I should have targeted the shaman first. You always say that, and I always forget because, of course, they're healing the rest yeah. of the mobs. Oh, look, there's Hello Kitty. Well, I didn't actually look to see what the. Oh, I see what they were. I didn't look to see what the girl were. No. Neither did I. Being a bit distracted by everything. Very exciting oh. episode. This, of course, very momentous. And I've forgotten that you'd named your cat Hello Kitty. That's hilarious. Hello Kitty, rather. Yeah. Okay, there is a shaman here. Okay. I'm targeting him. Alright, I'm going to control space. On he's him. gone. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> there we go. And don't forget, well, folks, that you he can... Wasn't overly powerful. No, none of these are, are they? Thank goodness. Don't forget, of course, that we can um, control space. So you hold down control, hit the space bar, and of course that will call out the target for the rest of your party, and it'll put a little symbol beside uh, the mob's name in, or rather, beside your name in the party list. And of course, clicking on that means that anyone else in the party will automatically target what you've called out. So, very handy tip there. Try and keep everybody healed. You're doing pretty good. You're wiping these guys out. Good lord. Oh, I'm, I'm going to put it down to um, Stefan and what's it? <laughs> Stefan, Stefan and, and Orion. Or, Orin, Orin, <laughs> Orion. Well, mind you, they're yep. only, only Not level me, three. Oh, <gasps> uh oh, look at Come this. Come around folks. the corner here, though. There he is. It's the boss. And you can see, by the way, he's got a green glow around him. There it is. He's gone. He's down. The green glow meant that he is yes. the boss. There he is. I'm attacking him first because it's. I agree. Yep. If you can get... Oh. Oh. There goes Reggie. There, and there we goes go. me. <gasps> it's Gwen. Oh, and there's Gwen. And she's got her cape on. She has. It was on that day that the Char discovered a way around the Great Wall. A way to bring it down. This is where the true story begins. Whoa, and there you go, folks. There it is. The cat's out of the bag now. Two years later. Look at that. We are now. I forgot how dramatic that cutscene was. I know, isn't it incredible? So, for all of those folk there mm. that have not watched that before, who didn't know what was going to happen, now the cat's out of the bag. This event, or that event that you just saw, was called the Searing. And of course, what it means is that Ascalon City got seared. The Char found a way to break down the wall and they completely demolished Ascalon and all of the surrounding lands. And by the way, that's why where we are at the moment is yes. actually where you first spawn from yes that's when you right first start the game it is this is where you spawn in you're dead right and in fact if we look at our map here mm. look at that it's totally different now this is Ascalon City as Reggie said we are exactly where we started the very first game in. and if you go look at episode one of this Guild Wars Let's Play series you'll see us starting here but of course it looks completely different now look at the sky the sky is red As 
Ascalon city is in ruins, and that is why we refer There's no to... no lake or river down the side. Yeah, that's right. It's just a dry bed now. That's why we refer to uh, where we were in Ascalon prior to this as pre-searing, because it's pre-the-searing event. So for all of those who are wondering why on earth do they sometimes call it pre-searing, that's why. And that's why a lot of characters um, make it a special thing to stay there, because once you leave pre-searing and the searing happens, you cannot go back on that character. And once again, if we open up the map here, you'll see this is basically the same map we've been looking at throughout the entire Let's Play series. Series. There's Ascalon City up to the north of us. Over here where it says Old Ascalon is basically where Ashford Abbey used to be. Over here is Fort Rannoch. Down the bottom here is where um, Foible's Fair and Wizard's Folly was. Baradin Estate was over here in the west and you can see the remnants of the wall above us. But look at that landscape. It's just all brown and scarred. Now of course it's all completely covered again meaning that it's all blurry and there's no detail there until we walk around. But here's the big thing, folks. Watch what happens. I can drag this map around now. And don't know about you, Reggie, but the first thing I ever discovered was, okay, I thought the world was big, but oh, oh, and look, I'm scrolling, <laughs> and I'm scrolling, and I'm scrolling, and I'm scrolling some more, and look how big it is. It's just an absolute... And then you nightmare if you click and you zoom out yes well that's the other thing you can see folks it. we're just scrolling at the moment and i mean look how far to the west it goes all these zones all these areas and then as reggie says if we actually let's recenter the map we'll take it to where we are watch if i click i just click once on the map and boom that is the size of guild wars prophecies and as um, the woman said at the end of the cutscene. Um, the entire pre-steering experience for Guild Wars, you think you're playing a game, you think you know the size of the world, you think this is lots of fun, that was nothing. It was just a basically a tutorial, an introduction. The true story of Guild Wars, the true gameplay in Guild Wars starts now. We've started right back at basically the beginning now. We've gone through our tutorials, we've leveled up uh, and we've got ourselves to rather level 7, level 8 and now the game begins for real and let's not forget folks as we look at this map here and of course reggie you know this because you've got the expansions as well this is the world map for one part of the game and it's the prophecies part which is what you buy uh, when you very first get the game if you just get guild wars on its own uh, it's been named guild wars prophecy so it's basically the first game you can also get guild wars factions uh, which was the next expansion and then you can get Guild Wars Nightfall and Reggie correct me if I'm wrong But basically each of their maps is just as big as this if not bigger again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Yep, they're completely different worlds. Yep from this one as well. Yep So you end up so basically with you're a not world playing in the same map either yeah, so it's three times the size. And then, of course, there's Eye of the North, which is another expansion again. Um, so as you can see, folks, there we are. We're that little dot right in the middle of this big crater here along the edge of the mountains. If we zoom in again, that's us way in there. Uh, way under us is a whole bunch of detail that hasn't been uncovered yet. This game is phenomenal. It is huge. It is gorgeous. Um, and it's just epic in scope. You thought you were playing a game you have no clue until you come through here and you, you basically your jaw drops and you go oh my god so reggie should we at least we're running out of time but at least we got through it finally um we should probably take the quest i suppose we'll have a quick look around look at that folks it's a dry arid scarred land now it looks completely different gone is our lush forests and autumn tones now we've just got devastation it's very sad looking is, at all this isn't it it is really sad and look i mean i know we've run past a quest giver there we'll come back to him but you can see here that is ascalon city look at that in the distance there ruins there's big crystals bursting up from the ground there smoking there's going to be char all over the place enemies everywhere um, one good thing that we do have now though of course is that we've got ourselves a couple of members in the group permanently now and we'll go through these later on in a future episode uh, but um, I forgot Reggie that we actually get our first henchmen um, right away I thought we had to sort of earn them or something but basically folks now we've got two henchmen uh, that can come along with us in a party so we're now a party of four or five if we count you hello kitty we won't forget about you anyhow let's oh, have a yeah, look no don't forget hello kitty i know 
She'll get all upset. Is it a he or a she, by the way? Uh, I yeah. haven't looked. <laughs> that tr- trust you to, to say, you know what, that's a very good answer. I deserve that. That was very... Oh dear! All right. Well, you can um, you can sex your uh, uh, your cat later on, uh, maybe in between episodes, and get back to us on that one. In the meantime, can let's... you refrain that, please? Yeah, well, that's Rephrase what it's that. called. That's what I mean. You know, I've got a friend who's a vet, and that's what they call it. Uh, so there's nothing rude going on there. All right, here we go, Captain Osiric. Mm-hmm. Welcome back. Looks like the patrol went well. You're still in one piece at any rate. Uh, Listen, Prince Rurik sent me to ask you a favour. You've been in the field. Remember, guys, this is two years later. Uh, So you probably haven't heard about this, but an ambassador's arrived from our old enemy, Krita, and they can help us fight the Char, but the king won't even talk to him. The prince hasn't been able to make any headway with his father, but he knows the king trusts Titus, and therefore Titus trusts you. Would you perhaps talk to Warmaster Titus about this matter? He's in his usual place in Ascalon City. And of course we'll do that. Now if you look at our map, you can see that it's taking us to Ascalon City. So you're ready to head there before we close out this most monumentous episode, Reggie? I am indeed ready. All right, we'll follow you as we survey the devastation. You know what? I remember the very first time I saw all of this and watched the cutscene, came in here, looking around, everything that was so familiar, so pretty, so green, so happy, and it's like... Wow, this is really sad. It's all just been totally, totally destroyed. Um, by the way, folks, if you're anything like me, um, you'll do what uh, Reggie was doing there. I think she was trying to show, uh, prove a point to us, which is it's very actually very hard to find the entrance to Ascalon City first up, but it's right there. It's The portal's a bit hard to see, but look for a signpost and you will find it. And you can see now the cutscene or the loading scene uh, concept artwork there has changed a lot. Oh, and look at that, we've got unclaimed items. Now this is another feature that will occur now that we're in the game for real. And by the way, yes, what you're looking at is Ascalon City. This is the remains of Ascalon. It's no longer a proud, um, glorious architect city. It's a collection of stragglers, tents, merchants, you name it. If we have a look at the map here, we can see we're definitely in the right place but it looks a whole lot different. It's just had absolutely everything torn through it, and it's just a mess now. But these unclaimed items, did you get an unclaimed items window pop up, Reggie, or did you collect everything? I did, yes, yes. No, I, just... I, I, I didn't claim everything. Yep, so that happens now, of course. Uh, whenever, mm. by the way, guys, yeah, whenever we go out into an explorable area now, it honestly doesn't matter if you don't pick up everything, because once you come back to an outpost or a city, um, any unclaimed items that you leave out in the world will actually pop up in this window once you zone back into a city, and you just click accept all, except my blooming inventory's full. Oh, I hate you. Of course. Of course it's full. <laughs> what have we got here that I can get rid of? I can probably salvage something. There we go. I'll salvage that. Actually, I'm going to have to drop something to salvage something. No, I can't drop. Oh, you can't drop anything in a city. Oh, dear. I'm going to have to sort no. that out by going to a vendor. Aren't? Oh, hang on. Can I put something? <laughs> I can put something maybe in my equipment pack. There we go. Thanks to you, you saved the day. I could now put something in my new bag and pick up my unclaimed items. Anyway, we've got a whole bunch of learning to do. Now we're in the city because there's a whole bunch of different types of traders. Uh, in the city that we've never come across before in the game and of course we'll get Reggie to help us explain all of those because she's really the expert. Uh, we've got henchmen to explore. Um, oh, Reggie, famous last words there. Your famous last words. Do you know what I'm most excited about? Um, I wonder if I can see it. Oh, I can. We won't go into it now, but I can see my Zunlai chest. <gasps> Yay! Oh my god. Uh-huh. I've been waiting for it Story. for the whole series. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? Well, how exciting we made it through and we stayed in party. That was I thought we were going to leave each other there for a moment, but we didn't. We did. That was, yeah. That no, was we good. definitely managed to uh, get that one working. Yeah. True friends stick together. So there we go with the blazing sun of old Ascalon in the background, the violent sky, the ruins, um, lots of players everywhere, and the wonderful Reggie. That's it for this episode, folks. So I hope you enjoyed that. If that was the first time you've ever seen this, to you new Guild Wars uh, players or new Guild Wars watchers, certainly hope you enjoyed that. Big surprise there. Bit of a spoiler, but hey, it's been a lot of episodes. Uh, that we've got to this point so it was well worth it anyway thank you once again for joining us reggie i hope you'll join us in our next episode of course 
to get down dirty into oh, it. Oh, absolutely. Now Wouldn't want to miss it. Yep, now we're getting into the guts of the game. It's going to be lots and lots of fun. So uh, thanks to you guys at home for watching as well. We hope you're having a great day. On behalf of Reggie and myself and Seraphis Heals a Lot, it's us saying take care. We'll see you later and bye-bye. Bye-bye.